today we're going to celebrate quarantine Halloween. More like candy quarantine. It's candy corn. Candy corn. Corny can. Candy. Canned corn. Dandy corn. Dandy candy. Corny corn. Corn can corn. Didi corn corn can. Candy corn can. Can can corn. Can can corn. Didi corn. Didi can can corn. Didi corn. Didi can can corn. Didi corn. Didi corn. Corn 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 corn. Knord Nad. Hello, Edward. Today is Thursday the 29th. It's almost Halloween, so, like you requested, like, months ago, I don't even know how long ago it was. I was sleeping in the woods a really long time, apparently. I didn't set my alarm. That log was so comfortable. Just, it was so nice out, and, you know, I just, just wanted to take a nap. Well, that shows me I gotta set my alarm next time, because I'm gonna sleep for a long time and not get to my video. So here's my video. Spooky season! I'm gonna tell some spooky stories. I'm gonna show you some spooky stuff. Spooky thing one, my face. Just kidding. I gave myself a haircut. If it wasn't obvious. <laughs> I wanted this part left longer. I did. That, that was on purpose. It doesn't look great. But it doesn't look terrible. Heck. Here's another creepy thing. I kept my ponytail. I just cut it off with some scissors and I put it in a cabinet. Now if the future generations want to clone me and bring my likeness back to life years from now. Years from now? Like I'm gonna die in several years? I hope not. Decades. No. Centuries. Centuries from now. When people want to clone me and bring back my likeness, they'll be able to do it. Because I left them my DNA in the piece of hair. I have really soft hair. It's weird to touch your own hair when it's not attached to you. But it's soft. I have soft hair. Dang. Spooky story number one. I was walking in a graveyard. And I, at night and I heard footsteps. I turned around. No one was there. I kept walking. It was a peaceful night, other than the fact that I kept hearing those footsteps. I would turn around, and each time, no one would be there. The leaves rustled, the sticks crunched underfoot. No one was there. Someone was in that graveyard. I listened closely. I stopped. So did the footsteps. I held my breath. Complete silence. This is not a true story. This is fiction. I'm making this up right now. I carried on. And the sense that someone was in the graveyard wouldn't leave me. I walked over to my car. And I saw someone. I turned around. No one was there. But when I looked back at the car, there in the reflection was someone watching me. Someone staring right at me. Breathing. Someone was in that graveyard. And it was me. The end. Spooky story number two. My shirt was wrinkled in all sorts of strange ways, and it frightened me the end. Spooky, st <laughs> spooky story number two. Yesterday, I was cooking sausage. I thought, sausage sounds good, so I cooked some sausage. And the sausage was haunted. Small brain. Haunted sausage. Big brain. Halloweeny. It was moving back and forth in the pan all by itself. Now, I've told some of my friends this story, and they said, oh, that's just the grease from a sausage popping that rolls it back and forth, and I said, no. Haunted sausage. <laughs> Halloweeny. And don't try to tell me it's not haunted. It's haunted.